so that's how you create your own dodge and burn curves from scratch so right now we want to dodge and burn this image and before you dodge and burn make sure you turn off your focus separation action so you can see what the image looks originally so this is what the image looks originally and um make sure your focus separation is turned off so right now just pick your um normal brush tool once you pick your normal brush tool reduce your flow to about three or four so once your flow is on about three just um since i'm on my dodge right now i'm going to dodge the highlight hello guys welcome back to another amazing tutorial my name is tunde victor in this video i'm going to show you guys how to create dodge bond curves from scratch if you don't have the retouching academy and also how to properly do dodge and bond because i've seen a lot of pictures online and uh the global dodge and bond they are doing is not making the image look good at all they are overdoing it so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to properly do dodge and bond and how to create dodge and bond curves from scratch so if you have this retouching academy you already have the dodge and bond curves right here so just click on your dodge and bond curves from your retouching academy and you have everything right here so this first one right here is our visual aid and this second one right here is our dodge and bond curves so i'm just going to delete this and show you how you can create it from scratch so the first thing i'm going to do come to your adjustment layer click on your curves and just increase the brightness up a bit like this and um just rename this one so just rename this um dodge and next come back to your adjustment come back to your adjustment layer again create another curves adjustment this time drag it all the way down like this and just rename this one bone just rename this one bone so next we are going to, we are going to invert the layer mask so you just click on ctrl i to invert and come to your dodge again click on ctrl i to invert so after inverting it you are going to do you are going to group them so once your bond is selected hold ctrl click on your dodge and just click on ctrl g to group them so once you group them you can just rename your group dodge and bomb i'm just going to rename this group d and g and click on and so next time which i'm going to create my visual aid right now so i'll just come to my black and white adjustment layer so just click on my black and white adjustment layer or you can come down here click on your adjustment layer and click on black and white i like having my adjustment layer up here because it's easier and faster for me so once i click on my um black and white adjustment layer i'm just going to bring down my reds a little bit like this so i can rename this visual aid but i'm just going to rename it with v or visual like this and i'm going to turn this one off and on to see so this enables me to see where to dodge and where to burn so that's how you create your own dodge and burn curves from scratch so right now i want to dodge and burn this image and before you dodge and burn make sure you turn off your focus separation action so you can see what the image looks originally so this is what the image looks originally and um make sure your focus separation is turned off so right now just pick your um normal brush tool once you pick your normal brush tool reduce your flow to about three or four so once your flow is on about three just um since i'm on my dodge right now i'm going to dodge the highlight so dodge simply means to brighten the highlight and burn means to um darken the shadows so since i want to brighten the highlight i'll click on my dodge and just brush on the highlight like this so i'll make sure i'm using a white brush make sure your foreground color is on white because the mask is on black so black hide and white reveals so with my white brush i'll just brush on the highlight gently like this and um i'll be fast about this i'll do the same thing for here and i'll do the same thing for here as well and for my shadows i'll come to my bone make sure my bone is selected i'll just burn the shadows like this you can see i'm not overdoing it 
so i'll just burn the shadows like this i'm just adding a um i'm just i'm just adding more dimension to the image like this to make the face stand out so i'm just going to burn this part as well not this middle this part right here the side of the nose i'm just going to burn that a bit and um let's see uh before and uh, after so once you are done just turn up so once you are done just turn back your focus separation on and you can see let's see our uh, before and our uh, after so these are before dodge and burn and these are after dodge and burn you can see it has added that 3d dimension to this image and the image is looking good right now so this is how you create dodge and burn and this is how you properly do dodge and burn in photoshop i hope you enjoy and learn something from this video if you do leave a like and let me know in the comment section below i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative